All right, here we go. Question number three from, from our college algebra homework number three in my lab math. Here again, they want us to graph a square root function. I've got it up here in my window. Let's begin. I need the domain. Now, it doesn't ask for the domain, but the reason I need it is so that I can know where to look for x's that are going to work when I plug them into this function. So to find the domain, you always set the radicand, which is the stuff under the radical, greater than or equal to zero, and then we're going to solve for x. Moving the negative 3 over makes that a positive 3. Divide both sides by 7, and that tells us that x has to be greater than or equal to 3 sevenths. Okay, so that tells me where to pick my x's at, or at least where to start. So now I'm going to make a little xy table, and I know that 3 sevenths is the smallest that x can be, so I'm going to start with 3 sevenths. So if I plug that into the function, in for x, 7 times 3 sevenths is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. And the square root of 0 is 0. Now, I need to pick a number bigger than 3 sevenths. Okay, so I'm, I don't know, let's just go with 1. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 minus 3 is 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So I got lucky. I got a number that actually square roots. And then a num another number bigger than 3 sevenths would be, I don't know, let's say 2. 2 times 7 is 14. 14 minus 3 is 11. And 11 doesn't square root nicely. So what I'm going to do is grab my handy-dandy calculator and do square root of 11 and see what it is approximately. So that is approximately 3.3. .3. So now I have three ordered pairs that I'm going to go and plot and see what my graph looks like. All right, so in the coordinate system we have 3 sevenths and 0. So if this is 1, 3 sevenths is going to be about here. 3 sevenths is a little bit less than a half. Yeah. Next, 1, 2. Well, let's see here. What happened? Undo. Bam. 1 and 2. That's going to be about there. And then 2 is going to be at about 3.3. .3. 2 is at... 1, 2, 3.3. So somewhere about there. And I can see that I've got a pretty steep curve going on here, but it does start to the right of the origin. And just to prove that that is right, we're going to go down here to Desmos, and we're going to put that in. And this time we have g of x equals sqrt gives me a square root, 7x minus 3. And you can see that the graph down here in Desmos does look, well, it looks almost exactly like what I have here. Now, is that answer choice over here? Let's zoom in on that one. Now, that's to the left of the origin. That's to the left. This one goes past. This actually goes farther the right. That can't be it. So it's got to be C. C looks like what I've got. Bam. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.